Hello and uh, welcome to my JKD Academy. My name is Sifu George Haji Nasser. What I'm going to go over this time, the actual advanced footwork of JKD. But we previously went over some of the basics. What I mean by basic, we only went front, back, side, side. What I didn't add is, is the actual rotation. So if you notice, I, I placed like a plus sign on the floor. So this is very important. So when you draw your line, you can place your tip of the toes and the heel of the arch of the foot. And this is your John stance. So it's very important that we're going to rotate in, in clockwise or counterclock. So what I mean, we're going to go 12 o'clock, we're going to go 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and back to 12. Then we're going to rotate, we're going to go from 12, back to 9, to 6, to 3, and we're going to go back to 12. So it's very important. So I'm not going to step on the line because it's taped and I don't want it to come off. So I'm going to go here, let's say for example, it's as if I would take a nail and I'll nail my my actual toes right into the floor and this is going to rotate. This is called circling. So I'm going to turn and rotate my body. So I turn and rotate. I turn and rotate. So I go here. So I'm going to go first. This foot, the rear foot turns and I'm going to end up on 9 o'clock. Then I'm going to end up back on 12. And I'm going to end up back on 3. And I'm going to end up back to 6 and 12. So 12 o'clock back to 6 o'clock. Okay, so I'm in this position here. So again, if I step on the line here, this foot rotates, okay, this foot rotates, so the front foot never moves, so only the rear foot, foot moves here and back to position. So what do you notice? That looks very rigid. This is only for teaching purposes only. Now we're going to take it a little bit more advanced. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of hop. So when I'm here like this, I turn and rotate and I give it a little bit of hop. So I turn and rotate and I hop. I turn and rotate, I give it a little bit of hop. So now I'm a little bit more alive. So I'm going to count a clock, I rotate. I rotate, I rotate, and I rotate, and I stay in my by John position. I always end up with 12 and 6. Whether I go clock or counterclockwise. Okay. JKD uh, right. footwork set. So we're going to do the whole footwork pattern, okay? So we're going to start on the line, okay? Advance, retreat, okay? We go to the right, we go to the left, double advance, double retreat, double right, and double left. Advance, retreat, retreat, and advance. Okay, I'm now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn and circle, turn and circle, turn and circle, and back to circle. Now I'm going to count a clock, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so I'm back. back on the line. This time what I'm going to okay. go over so, is some of the a actual application from the bow itself. So you're going to notice when we did the bow, there's a lot of hidden applications. Some people might teach them, but me when I teach the bow, there's a lot of hidden techniques, actual fighting techniques. So we're going to go over some of those. So I'm going to ask my uh, student, Kevin, to come in, and uh, we're going to demonstrate some of the techniques, okay? This is my uh, student, Kevin Fong, here, and I love his socks. I told him to put these socks on. They, they add a little bit of character to the, uh, to the whole the scenario here, so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, <laughs> that was a joke. Smile to the camera. <laughs> okay, all right, so what we're going to do over first, we're going to go over some of the, We start here at the sub chi sao, right? So the sub chi sao, it's not an actual, just we're going like this, just for the hell of it. So it's an actual technique. So if Kevin throws a kick, one, if he throws the other leg, I stop him here. So you can see it doesn't have to be simultaneously. Now if Kevin grabs and he throws a kick, and if I go, throws a kick, and I go here, like I don't like that particular block, but what we do, we take one away, he throws a kick, I stop him, he throws a kick, I stop him. So I use only half the sub chi sao motion, so I'm going to go take one away, which becomes gan sao, low sweet block, okay? So the second one is, is here, rolling here. Okay, so when, when I go like this, I go sub chi sao, kwan sao. So Kevin throws a kick, I shoot up in the cross and I throw him. So one more time, Kevin. So I shoot it down and I throw him here. So you can see the actual technique. It shoots down and I roll him over. Okay, now Kevin grabs me here. You can see from here and out, and I strike here. I can push him. So you can see out here this way. So he grabs, I go out here. Just to separate him, I can headbutt and I can push him. So either one, you can see how it goes from here to here. So one more time, up and here. Now, Kevin could grab my wrist, so grab, I turn up. You can see that loosens him up, I could go into the actual attack and hit it. You can see now I could add both. So one, hand up, I could shoot across here and move forward. Or if he grabs here, I could come around and hit. So he could grab on the other side, turn up. Grab and hit, hit, kick, whatever you like. So same exact motion. So as soon as he grabs, I turn up. This loosens him up and that hits him. Okay? So one, I pull back. So Kevin goes to grab me. 
I hit, pull back. So one more time, I hit. So you can see this teaches you to road, retract your, your fist backwards, but he actually it's an elbow strike. So he goes to grab, I strike back, okay? He goes to grab, I strike back, okay? So those are three actual applications. So one, two, back. With this one here, the, now you probably wonder how this one goes. I'm gonna show you how this one goes. I cover the punch, he comes at me, I hit here. You can see he goes up, I move to the side a little bit because I'm, when I'm here, you can notice I move sideways a little bit, he comes, I move, I don't have to even block him. So here, I take that leg out quickly. So one more time, so I'm gonna go, as he comes, I punch him here, okay? So it doesn't matter, let's say if Kevin decides to throw a kick, throw a kick, one more time, throw a kick, okay? It's very important when you practice these, I'm always worried about the knee, because you could actually shatter somebody's knee in that particular attack. So he throws a kick, I go here. So remember, as soon as he comes, one, two, okay? So you could stop him, one, two, I strike back, this is the kick. Okay, it's a Wing Chun kick. I'm here and I step on punch. So this one, it goes one, I step with the other leg, I strike. So same thing, one, two, I step and strike. So one, two, three, strike, hit, okay? Now, as soon as I go from here, okay, I step, okay? This one could be a front kick too to the groin. So if he comes, so one, two, okay, and I hit. So one more time. One, two, three. So it could be like all these techniques are hidden. So I go one, two, back, and I, I bow here. I step out, double punch, and back. So I'm gonna go over the double punch. So he grabs me, I hit. Now you don't have to go double punch like this. I could go one, two. You can see the hit comes from the inside out. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go this one. So he grabs. I'm gonna go here just to show you this view, how it goes. Because if I go straight, I get jammed. See, if I go here, so if he grabs him with this side, I get jammed, it's tough to, to punch him. So that's why the hand gonna come in, and I'm gonna go up. Or in, I punch him here low. So we'll go one here, on this side. So one, on the inside, I clear the line. Because if I go here like this, I get jammed here. Okay, so out, punch. Okay, thank you. And last one is about, so I come up to somebody, I got no problem, I punch here. He doesn't see my hand, so I'm always covered. So I got no problem here, I just, like if somebody's talking to you, you put your hand up, you punch here. It's very important because it's teaching you here, I cover my fist, I punch. Okay? I hope you enjoyed these applications, but stick around, we're not done yet. Hello again, and welcome back. This is my other student, he's Jimmy. He's still tall, he hasn't got any shorter, he's actually getting bigger and taller, I can't catch up to him anymore. All right, so, and these guys love to wear socks, so it's okay. So now what we're gonna work on is some of the actual application. We're gonna insert, or we're gonna apply the actual footwork. What, what is important about Jeet Kune Do footwork and what's so great about it, it's, it, we're gonna talk about the distance. So when we talk about the distance, so for example, if I'm gonna reach Jimmy with the punch, I, could, I got a few things to do. I could do, remember we talked about the step slide, the slide step, and we talked about the push shuffle. So again, so if I go like this, I'm gonna step slide, right? And then I'm gonna slide step, step back Jimmy a little bit, and I'm gonna push shuffle, okay? So those are the three major footwork that we talked about in the basics. But that's why I said those are very important to me because we go in a straight line, okay? So the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. It's all from fencing. So what we're gonna do is, if I'm gonna reach Jimmy, I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna step, slide, I didn't reach him, don't move Jimmy. Okay, now if I go here, slide, step, I'm gonna reach him, but I can't kick him, okay? So this time here, I'm gonna step, slide, kick, and I'm gonna back keep position, right? But watch when I do push shuffle, I'm in his face, and I can kick, and I'm back to position. So I pendulum back, or I slide step back, okay? So again, so I'm gonna do step, slide, slide, step, and push back to me, and I'm gonna do push shuffle, okay? So one more time. So the first one, Jimmy's gonna throw a punch. I'm gonna step, you're gonna see how I pushed and I pushed his hand out of the way. Come in, I step and I'm in my by jump position. So again, I go under him. So again, I push across and I punch. Now if he comes with the left hand, I step out to the outside. So if you notice, we went forward, we stepped to the side, and then I moved to the left back again. 
So if he actually throws the punch, I could go here, okay, or I could go here. All right, so it's up to me what I'm going to do. So he comes in, I could step out without stepping forward. I could move here. If he steps with this one, I could move here. If we're going to go forward, I go here. He comes forward, I go here. Okay, so one more time. So come in with the right hand. I'm not going to move, but he was kind of out of reach. He's going to step into me. He's going to commit. So one more time. I step to the outside, left. Now I'm going to go forward. I'm going to really go into him. He comes with this hand. I go here. So I'm mixing the two together. So I go advance, I could go left, and I could go right, and I could insert the actual footwork or apply the footwork. Okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the kick. So if I, I got two things. Again, if I go step, slide, kick them, and then back to position, right? Or I could slide, step, kick, and back. Or I could push, shuffle, and kick, and back. Or I step, slide, kick, and back. Okay? So Jimmy, you're gonna move back a little bit, okay? All right. So again, I got three things. So I'm gonna go slide step and back. I'm gonna do step, slide, kick and back. And I'm gonna push shuffle and kick. So it's called the burst, okay? So I'm gonna burst forward. So again, step, slide, kick and back, okay? We're gonna do, this time we're gonna do slide step and back and push shuffle. They kind of all look the same, but they're not. It's all in my feet. Because this one, I step, slide, right? This one, push shuffle. And the other one, I'm going to do slide step here. Okay? So again, step, slide, slide step, and push shuffle. Okay? So this one here, kick fast. Okay? Thank you very much. This time, what we're going to do, we're going to use Bob as a target. I dressed him up in red. It looks pretty good, huh? So this time, what we're going to talk about is the three major footwork of JKD. The actual step slide, slide step, and push shuffle. And, I mean, side to side is very important as well, but I like to go always in a straight line, which is the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So it's a fence in theory, so you always attack on a straight line. I like to move side to side just slightly, but I like to always attack on a center line. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to work on some of the hand before foot. What I mean by hand before foot, it's very important. So if I go, for example, I go, I'm going to push shuffle and, and hit Bob here. Push shuffle and hit, right? So you can see it's kind of far away. If I do slide step, I can kick him. I can't punch him because I'm out of range. So if I'm going to go like this, I can't punch him, right? So if I go push shuffle, I can punch him. And I can also kick him, okay? Here, I kick and come back, okay? So you could do two things when you do the push shuffle. Now the slide step, I can't, I could only kick, I can't punch. So it's very important that you actually know the difference between all three. So again, I'm gonna go over them. So if I slide step, I could kick, but I can't punch. See, I'm way too far. So, but if I'm gonna punch him, I can push shuffle, okay? But I can still kick too, I can push shuffle, kick. And if I wanna do slide step, I can't do it. So again, you gotta use one of those for your attack. So again, first one, I'm gonna do push shuffle hand before foot. So when you're in the body drop position, I'm here like this. Before that foot lands, I'm gonna land, okay? So you notice my hand punches before I land here. So I touch the target, move, 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 touch the target, then land. That's called hand before foot. So I go here, move, 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 punch. As soon as I connect with the target, I land down, okay? So again, I go one, Two, I can step to the outside and punch. Okay, that's when you use your footwork now side to side. I step, 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 step. I move to the side, I hit. Okay, so again, one, two. That's hand before foot, okay? Now, if I'm going to kick him, I'm here. I do slide step, kick him, and I'm back to position, okay? So again, but you got to retreat fast, otherwise you're going to get jammed. If you got a guy that will shoot at you, he's going to shoot into your legs. So you have to retreat really fast. So again, slide step, kick, and back to position. You gotta make sure you have a good balance. That's why I said, you know, you always lean back, because if you lean forward, you're way off balance, okay? So again, here, slide step, kick, and touch, slide back fast. So if I do push shuffle, hand before foot, okay? Now, slide step, kick, and you slide step back, okay? So again, one, back to position, okay? 
Now, if I'm going to do um, push shuffle, slide step simultaneously. So I'm going to go push shuffle, slide step, kick and back, okay? So you can, I'm going to move back a little bit. So I'm going to do push shuffle, side step and roll back, okay? One more time. Push shuffle, kick and back. So I feel with this hand, before it lands, I punch, I kick. So as soon as this foot touches, I fire from here. I do my slide, slap, step here, okay? 